Developing a mindset of abundance. It is important to develop an abundant mindset, one that believes God will always provide what we need in every circumstance. This is God's promise throughout Scripture, and part of His nature is to provide for His children. In fact, in the Old Testament, one of the Hebrew names of God is Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord our provider. In a time of famine, Isaac reaped a harvest, a hundred times as much as he had planted and became very wealthy and extremely distinguished. See Genesis 26 verses 12 through 17. There is nothing we need that God is not able and not willing to provide. His love for us and his desire to take care of us is great. He is the Father that wants to give his gifts to his children. He is the Father that is anticipating every need before we even know that we need it. When we love him and do our best to progressively learn and obey his ways, he will make sure our needs are met. In fact, there is not one need that he would rather share his blessings with than with his children. And in Psalm 34:10, it says, The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. And Jesus tells us today, My child, you can attain the highest achievement or have all the material things in the world. But if you are missing me, not living in me and for me, you will remain empty. You will grow weary and hungry when you are seeking the things of the world instead of focusing on the kingdom of God. But if you passionately pursue the Father's will, you will lack no good thing. If you use the gifts and talents the Father has given you, you will find that the Father will pour out his blessings on you. You don't need to worry. The Father knows what you need before you ask him. He sees your whole life from beginning to end, and he is involved in every area of it. He is concerned with your spiritual needs, but also with your physical, financial, health, emotional, and relational needs. Because you remain in me, you take on my strength and resources, not your own, so you can accomplish far more than you think that you can. Trust the Spirit to guide you and trust the Father to provide. If you continuously seek the Father's will for your life, surrender to his purpose, you will find that your faith in me will be enough and I am all you need. Let us pray. It is so easy, my Father, Lord God, to grow weary and to grow weak and even times to grow hopeless, my Father, when we don't see that our needs are met and I ask you, Lord God, for strength, my Father, supernatural strength for that person that is waiting, Father God, for a breakthrough in their finances, waiting for a breakthrough regarding a job, waiting for a promise to be fulfilled. Thank you, my Father. My Father, help us to not allow the distractions of the world to fool us and to keep us from everything that Christ, that your son has for us, my father. Everything that he has in relations to open doors, divine connections, my father, just opening the path for us to be able to walk through like your children, the Israelites did when you delivered them from Egypt, Father, from, from the hands of Pharaoh, my God, from the slavery, my God, and you delivered them, Father God, to the land of milk and honey, and not one of them was lost, my God. 
It was a, a massive exodus, my father, of millions of people. And only you, Lord God, can do that successfully, my father. Only you, my God. You chose the right man. You chose Moses for the task, my father. And even though he had an, an incredible insecurity problem, he had a stutter, he told you that he couldn't speak, he wasn't sure of himself for a, such a massive undertaking, my God. But you choose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And Lord God, we just thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that many of us, my Father, we don't even know talents and abilities that we have inside of us, O oh God. And this year, before the year is over, my Father, I pray that you give your children, my Father, that you give your children the desire, that you give them the strength to carry on and to do those things that have been hard in the past, my Father. But I pray, Lord God, that something different, that you're doing something different in their lives, my God, that you lift up, my Father, that you lift up their strength, that you renew them like an eagle, my Father, Father God, and that you, my Father, renew their faith, give them a faith injection, my Father, speak to them, give them a word, give them a revelation, give them a dream, Whatever it is, my Father, that you use in order to communicate you with your children, Father God, I pray in a mighty way, my Father, that you move in each one of our lives, my Father. And I thank you, Lord, for blessing each one of my subscribers. My Father, if there is a friend that has listened up to this point, I ask you, my Father, to bless them in a mighty way. Bless them, Lord God with finances, bless them with health, bless them, my Father, with jobs and opportunities, Father God, in business, my God. I just thank you, Lord God, for your goodness and your kindness, my God. And Psalm 34, 10, the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. My God, thank you for supplying our every need. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. And in your name, Jesus, amen. If you like this message, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, also like and share. If you know of anyone that needs to hear a message like this, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're anxious or fearful, maybe they're struggling with a situation in their lives. Send them a gift today, the gift of hope, the gift of encouragement. Thank you for listening to my messages. Have a blessed day.